penetrating, reeling McCarran. Finds Kennedy the open look, and here go Melbourne. You need Big Lousy's contribution. Maybe get him a couple of cheapies. Take that pressure off. Casper Ware elevates again, and it's all the bottom of the net. That's nine without reply. For two minutes played, the Taipans still looking for their first score. Melbourne has nine. Newbill creating, takes on Boone, protected the ball well. Just hovered in the air and opens Cam's account. It's Boone, single coverage. Boone. Carla just trying to outmuscle him for the moment. Forces up the shot, gets it done, and draws a foul on Boone. Hits the three, that time puts it on the deck, gets all the way to the cup. Great to see him back. Newbill goes to work, rejected by McCarran, who pinned it on the glass. I, I got a uh, text message during the break from a, a defensive stopper and Darren Lucas who said, I could play better defense than what Mel, uh, Kansas showing at the moment. Mine's pleasure, a little undecided, and eventually they popped it up. Here's Trimble went behind the back. McCarran got a piece of it. Alley in play, Walker throws it down. Kansas scored eight unanswered points. They're back to it in six. This is a very important game for Melbourne United. Casper Wears just picked up his second personal. Trimble takes on Kennedy. He stood his ground well, but can't prevent Trimble from adding another two. Evan Hall. Local offensive set, but they kept it alive. Almost coughed it up again, but it's Ware for the three ball. They've now hit eight of 11 threes in the game. 11 points so far has been dangerous. He's coughed it up, and here's Hawley. Needs to get it off in time from close range. It's a nice finish for Hawley. Completed under pressure. Good defensive work there from Charwai and Loughton in tandem. Trimble feeds Newbill, and the danger man knocks down. Bounce pass finds Jarway from close range, couldn't complete it. Loudon can only work it to the advantage of Hawley. Here's McCarran taking on Newbill, rejected by Devin Hall. We'll tap it there if it's not going to go down, but I'd love to another look at it. Barlow extending and elevating over the top of Devin Fall, who's been signalled with a flop warning. Loughton goes back to Trimble, harassed by Hawley. Loughton works away from Barlow, found an opening. Good teamwork there to get Loughton the open look on adds the two. Day night, let's go, let's get off to the races. Trimble left alone once more, takes them on and adds another two. This has been some sort of show from Mello Trimble here in the third. I think Mello Trimble's got to take this game by the scruff of the neck. You see him come off the on ball there and just sort of back it out now. It's a shake and bake, which he's very good at as well. But... You better guard me too. Casper Ware taking on the challenge and gets a user-friendly roll to add another two. He's got 21 now. Tick over three minutes played in the final quarter. Moller's the open man for the long ball. He knocks down the three. They've hit 12 threes in the game. For picking up a technical and a battle with Nate Charway, who has also picked up a tee. Good tee there from McCarran. Comes to Barlow. Now Casper Weir looking ominous. He pulls up from the sports bet logo. I for him now. Got the double team. Oh, Boone left alone. Takes them on. Got it off quickly with a shot clock expiring in the background. And Josh Boone adds the two. Using the fans and the rest of Queensland threatening to get us all a burger. Here's Melo Trimble. Hard on the move. He gets it done. Draws a foul as well. For by a player in the NBL this season. Last season's top was Bryce Cotton with 36. To put that into some context for you. Here's Barlow. Oh, he knocks down another. And had 17 before fouling out against Illawarra on Monday night. So, a great return for him. Eight on the shot clock as Casper Ware calmly ices another. This is some sort of shootout. The score in the first nine inside 90 seconds, and Casper Ware knocked out in two of those three threes. And he's knocked down another. He equals his career best. He's eight of 12 from deep. Auburn United for the first time in two years have got a result here in Cairns. And the Snakes, for the first time since 2001, start with a 0-3 record at home.